When it comes to modelling a realistic vehicle, you have to remember that a tank crew or vehicle crew live day in and day out in their machines. It's their home. That means they carry around a lot of gear and personal effects. You only have to look at any World War II newsreel to see tanks and AFVs festooned in all sorts of bags, packs and equipment. As our hobby is all about recreating reality in miniature, sooner or later you'll want to deck out your kits in stowage. Recreating this lived-in look can be great fun and really brings any model to life. It makes a model look like it has been used every day, like a real armoured fighting vehicle. Thankfully, there's a huge range of accessories on the market. Bags, packs, tent rolls, specially made vehicle sets, you name it. And we use those pretty often. The main problem with resin parts is that they are hard. Real bags and packs are soft and cling to the tank or vehicle. So resin stowage can sometimes just look a bit fake. Well, luckily, a solution is at hand, and it's not as hard as you think. You can sculpt your own stowage. In fact, making your own bits and pieces is good fun and really rewarding. Plus, each creation is completely unique. So here's how you do it. For this demonstration we're going to use our M8 project. The M8 Greyhound was a small vehicle, so always carried plenty of kit. We're going to be demonstrating sculpting on this build. All you need are the following tools. A putty. We're going to use Nidatite Duro, which is great for this task. And two other excellent putties, Tamiya QuickType, and milliput, so you can compare. You'll need a rolling pin, some sculpting tools, and a toothpick. We'll also use later on some brass buckles. It's also a good idea to have a few resin or plastic pieces to give you an idea of scale and shape. Simply roll out the putty using the rolling pin. Here's a good tip. Use talcum powder to stop the putty sticking. Keep rolling until you get a nice thin layer. Then simply fold and roll to make blankets or packs. Then you can sculpt in any creases or folds. Don't worry too much about fingerprints, you can smooth these out later. Use the pointed tool to add creases. You can add smaller indentations using the same tool. It's probably a good idea to fix your bedroll to the model at this stage and add any more sculpting. Here we've used double sided tape on the turret to keep our bag in place. Straps and knots can be made from the same material. Gently drape them over your model. Add more straps for realism.
and you can either sculpt or use photo etch to show buckles. Twist some straps for a realistic look. Apply small clumps of strapping to represent knots. Remember that you can mix up your materials and use different types of buckle for variety. Tank crews like to keep warm, so if you want to show thicker blankets or mattresses, experiment with other putties. Here we're using Milliput Black. And remember too, you can combine this technique with plastic or resin accessories. In fact, a milliput blanket is a great way to bed in any accessories, so they lie flat on the model. You can use the same method for bags and packs. Just start with a thicker piece of putty and something to inspire you. A good idea is to mount the item on some backing. Here we used card and some sticky back tape. Use the sculpting tools, toothpick and knife, to give the pack a more lifelike shape with plenty of creases. You can make rucksacks, kit bags, whatever you like. Keep adding to the model and tweaking before the putty dries. And there you have it, some lifelike stowage. You can just keep on adding or removing to suit your taste. Keep watching Scale War Machines for more tips and techniques. Thanks for watching this how-to guide. Until the next time, goodbye. Subscribe for our latest videos.